Hi guys, before we start, I first want to thank you for all the support in the last year and I'm very happy that HFX is received so well. So yeah, there's a new update out, it's version 1.6 already, it's free for all existing users like always and it now fully supports Blender 4.3 and also org webs are introduced which was a highly requested feature and also some other little improvements. And if you talked about buying it, uh, there's a sale from 29th November until the December on Blender Market. And in that time you can get the add-on with 30% off. So maybe that's interesting for you. So now let's start. First of all, what's very important if you update to version 1.6, then please make sure that you also update to the newest supporting file, which is also named with 1.6. And then if we open the add-on, here as you can see, we now also have the new Orb Webs area. And the Cobweb Generator is renamed to Dynamic Webs. So you know this already, if I click on Add and draw a line and then go out of it and select the right collection. Here as you can see, we have our Dynamic Cobwebs. But there's a new thing, because now as you can see, we have also settings for water drops. So we can add very simple uh, water drops with the amount you want. And you can also change the seed or the radius like this. And then especially if you make cobwebs outside, this can be yeah very cool. So I can crank this up a bit, make it a bit smaller, and here we go. Now let's come to the op webs, and it's very easy. So you just have to click on add, and then you can place them wherever you want. The thing is the orb webs aren't as dynamic as the dynamic webs because the connecting lines can't directly connect to an object but you can tweak them very much to your liking and I show you how you can connect very easy the connecting lines to the objects. So here like this for example we place the orb web here directly in the middle and then I can change parameters like the density or also this density. For now we leave it to 10. And then I can also change the size like this. Or I can make the webs bigger or smaller. And then yeah, I can also change the seed. So we can have all kinds of different orb webs here. And then if the orb web is more horizontal, then we can also change the hanging like this. Or we can change the amount of connecting lines. And also here the connecting lines length like this. And then yeah, also the seed so that the rotation is a bit different like this or also the direction of the connecting lines. And if you want, you can also add water drops here, like this, and change the seed if you want. But yeah, now we rotate it back uh, like this. And then we can also scale it with the normal scaling like this and then if we are ready we can just say convert selected to mesh and then you can also fine-tune it if you want so for example I select it here and then I can go in edit mode because now it's a normal mesh and then I can select the outer points and activate proportional editing and then I can also change it here because it's a normal mesh and not an image or something like that. So yeah, you can tweak it to your liking and you can also delete uh, things if you don't need them. Uh, here I toggle on X-Ray so that I get all points and then yeah, we can delete it like this. So yeah. And you can also say here, for example, 
I want to make this a bit more here and here. Yeah, you get the idea. And there's also another little improvement with the light rays because if we add a light ray here and then I scale it a bit down and like this. Uh, because the problem was before with this color field we could only change the color of the volume so I can make it a bit stronger here to see it better but we couldn't change uh, the color of the light and yeah this was a bit annoying so now you can also change um, directly the color of the light with this field so everything changes like this. So that was it for today. I hope you like it and then I see you next time.